how to flatten files in PowerPoint 365. In this video, I'm actually going to show you how to flatten files in PowerPoint Office 2019 and Office 365. It's aimed at the window users, but I have created two other videos, one for the Mac users and one for anybody that's using Office 2016. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to my channel where we show you how to make money online with KDP Low Content Books and Etsy with new training every week. So be sure to hit the big red subscribe button. So why am I telling you about flattening images? You might think that once you export your file as a PDF, it is flattened. And the simple answer is no, it's not. This is not a step that's required for KDP. It's only required if you are selling printables on either Etsy or Teachers Pay Teachers or on your own website. And it's usually because it's a license agreement that you have to sell only flattened images that are the final product. So I had a comment from Lisa on uh, one of the videos that I made and it said how do you flatten a PDF so I explained that PDFs are already flattened well they are flattened to a certain extent but you can still actually access some of the images to change them in different programs so if we go to affinity design which is a graphic program and this can be done with any of the graphic programs this is a PDF that I opened up, so I'm just going to slide that down so you can actually see it says a PDF. So it should be flattened. I did this in PowerPoint, but as you can see, I can actually access all the layers and work on it. So this is another one that all I did was export it from PowerPoint and again, I can actually access all the images. Now, this is not what's allowed. And also, if you go into uh, Adobe, again, if you click on these images, you can select the individual ones and just go ahead and recopy them in PowerPoint or anywhere else. Now, this is not what you're allowed to do. You need to make sure that it is completely flattened so that it ends up being one image. Well, PowerPoint, 365 or PowerPoint Office 2019 has actually come up with a very good solution. They are all free, these methods, by the way. So if you go into PowerPoint, the simple thing is we want to make sure that all of this is flattened so that it becomes one big image. Obviously, people may find ways to edit around it, but you have done your part of actually agreeing to the licensing agreement that you have purchased when you purchase some of these images. So all you need to do is simply go file, save as, and you're going to change the type of file that it's saved as. And you're going to go all the way down until you see it say PowerPoint picture presentation. And that's what you need to do. So you click on that and I'm going to change the name of that. So it's a different name as well. I'm just going to name it Flatten. And then it gives me a copy of this presentation has been saved. It's telling me exactly where it's saved. So now I need so now I need to actually open up the file. So I'm going to go file open and I'm looking now for the one that says flattened. Which is open and then what you need to do is you'll notice that now I cannot choose a single item I can only choose one thing I can't select any individual items on this like I could in the previous file I could select anything I could select this box here I could select the white background I could change any of that and I could the only problem when you have done this is that you cannot have any hyperlinks within that. Now, some of the uh, principles on Teach Pay Teacher requires that you have attribution in there, requires that you put maybe your details, your website details. So what you need to do is now add those sorts of files in with this now 
so that they can remain clickable. So we're going to do that now. We're going to add a new slide and all we're going to do is we're just going to put my, my website here. Now obviously you would do a lot more in there. Dream Creator B. I'm going to put the link there. <sighs> okay, so that is now a hyperlink. So what I now do is I will export file, export as a PDF. Publish. And as you can see, I can't click on any of the items there, but I can still click my hyperlink and actually go towards my website. As you can see, it's done that. OK, also, if I now go into Affinity and I open up that file, Open. We know it's the correct one because I've put that on there. I cannot move anything else. I can only open that, but I've got access to that one. That one I can go in and change. But it's all right because you're not bothered about that one there. So let's see if it actually does it with the parrots. So here I did this here, I cleaned up all these and these have got all different layers. So if we do the exact same thing, file, save a copy, this time change it to PowerPoint picture again, and I'm going to change the name, flatten, save, click OK. Now I'm going to open the new one, open. OK, we're going to do the exact same thing with this one that we know has got all different layers to make sure that it actually works. So we're going to save as a copy. I'm going to save as clean button, making sure that I change it to the picture format, which is PowerPoint picture presentation. Click that. And then I also want to put it somewhere. I know. Um, I'm just going to put it in downloads, save so I can actually open it. Interact downloads. Okay, so now I need to actually open that file, open and browse, go to downloads, it should be there, click open, and then we should see that that is all one file but the test is when we take it over to affinity so file export as pdf that's in downloads publish and then we can see here as well that's all flattened but then if we go back to affinity designer File, open, download, I want downloads, button, open. And then if we just look down here, we can see there's no separate layers for people to actually be working on and editing. So there's none none of that for them to do. So this is how you actually flatten a file in PowerPoint Office 2019 and Office 365. And yes, it is only the Windows version, but check down in the description for the links to the Mac video and the Office 2016 video. Also check the top right hand card for it.
If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting the little B above my head. Also check out my video about removing colour from PNG and JPEG images in PowerPoint and also check out my masking in PowerPoint videos as well.